All right, all right. What's up, y'all? Soul here, and welcome back to the story mode. So, as I've been scripting for the last couple of days here, as I'm sure you'll probably see by the multitude of uploads that you're most likely going to be getting this week, I was thinking about something. It has come to my attention that we still have yet to have any form of access to Pokemon Home for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And so, like plenty of you, I, I have to ask, guys, where is it at? I mean, I'm not calling you guys liars or anything like that, but uh, according to my everything, um, it's May. <laughs> it's been damn near half a year since you told us that we would have gotten Pokemon Home in the earlier half of 2023. May is not early 2023. I don't care who tries to tell you that or sell you that. We are almost halfway through the year. Wow, that feels truly awful to say considering how much I have not uploaded this year. But you know what? Things happen. Let's move on. Now, if you were to ask any sane person their thoughts on the delay for Pokemon Home, nine times out of 10, they'll tell you it's not that big of a deal. It's just the storage system for your Pokemon. Why is it that serious? And you know what? They're absolutely right to think that way. It's just a storage system to put our Pokemon in to collect dust for years on end. Why is it so serious that we don't have it for Scarlet and Violet? But that's just it, isn't it? You see, it'd be one thing if I wasn't forced to pay to utilize it to get my Pokemon out of there. But the fact that my Pokemon are forced to sit in this box, completely useless, unable to do anything with them until further notice. Maybe there's some competitive ready Pokemon that I built up over the years that I stored in Pokemon Home and really want to utilize that in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, but because we haven't introduced Pokemon Home to the newest games yet, they're just kind of locked behind this little wall until God knows when. But see, it's not only the fact that we have to pay for it, that's one thing in of itself, $2 is whatever, but also the fact that they have yet, to my understanding, to patch out this glitch and this corruption that's going around where it will completely corrupt your file and you'll just lose out on all of your Pokemon. That sounds extremely dangerous to me. I've put in a lot of time, effort, and work into all of the Pokemon that I've immaculated throughout my time with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and I would really hate to lose out on that because of some corruption or glitch. I'd like to know that the Pokemon that I don't really plan on using too much but I want to keep around for, you know, memory's sake at the very least, are safe and sound in Pokemon Home. I'm no avid shiny hunter or anything like that, but I definitely wouldn't want to lose out on the shiny Pokemon that I have amassed. So that brings me back to my main point. I kind of want Pokemon Home to be here already, and yet, it's not. Why would you guys go out of your way to tell us that Pokemon Home would be available in a certain time period, only for it to not be available during said time period? Why even lie about it? Just don't tell us about it until it's ready to go. You don't need to fib and tell us that it's going to be available during a certain time because once that certain time comes through, we're kind of going to be expecting it. And the weirdest part is, they've said absolutely nothing about it either. We've had a couple of updates here and there for the games, we've had a lot of different events going on and stuff like that, but Pokemon Home? Zilch. Zip. Nada. However though, can I really be mad about that? This is something that Pokemon is notorious for doing. Just kind of dropping an announcement on us and then not saying anything for months, possibly even years on end. Unfortunately, that's not out of Pokemon Company's ballpark. Pokemon Home is prime evidence, sure, but then there's the mainline games. Sometimes the spin-off games. Look at Pokemon Sleep. We didn't hear about that for how long until recently? It's kind of annoying, now that I think about it, that we've essentially been conditioned to not expect to hear anything after an announcement for at the very least about like 6 or 7 months. And under normal circumstances, that's totally fine. For Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, we'd get maybe one or two trailers a year before we finally got something real. Difference is, they weren't giving us this grandiose illusion that we were gonna get that thing as soon as humanly possible, unlike Pokemon does. And that's just another one of Pokemon Company's problems, isn't it? Hmm. So, if it wasn't already obvious, this is hardly a video focusing on the problem of not yet receiving Pokemon Home. 
I mean, granted it kind of is, but it's more so about what this long unjustified wait for Pokemon Home means in the long term for Pokemon fans like us. Think about it. Why are they doing this to us yet again? Why tell us that we're bound to receive something, don't give us any information or real details, and then just... don't. See, the funny thing about this situation in particular is that it represents so many things regarding the franchise of Pokemon. This situation in particular really heavily represents their impatience when it comes to us and this series. Constantly, they come up with ways to showcase these little things to us, no matter what state the project itself is actually in. Pokemon Home was clearly nowhere near ready to go by the time that they announced it, even though they gave us the illusion that it was. Or at the very least, they tried to make us believe that it was ready to go. But again, this is something that we're not unfamiliar with. Every single time they've showed off a brand new game, no matter what state it was in, they had to make something to show us that something was happening. And I get it, that's totally fine, but in the circumstance of Pokemon, way too many times have you showed us something that was nowhere near cooked enough. Literally the last four games in the last decade are a prime example of what I'm talking about. Generation 8, everything in between, and Generation 9 were nowhere near ready to showcase. And yet, you gave us something anyway. The only reason they can even be this unrealistic and this impatient is because it's Pokemon. Put literally any other franchise in the shoes of Pokemon, that franchise would have died ages ago. People would get fired and laid off in seconds just based on the response of what we would have received. Not Pokemon though. Definitely not Pokemon. They need to rush that development to Tin Buck 2 to make sure that we know that something is coming and to wait patiently for the end of the year. Even if it doesn't look anywhere near ready to be released by the end of the year. Now, we've already talked each other's ears off about that situation, but right now we're supposed to be talking about Pokemon Home. But what else does it represent? Well, from my perspective, I'm thinking that that subscription method that they've got going on definitely symbolizes that very basic greed that they've got going on. What exactly are we paying for here? Even your mobile games and Pokemon Unite doesn't have a monthly payment situation besides maybe Pokemon Go, even though they could totally pull it off and nobody would be none the wiser. And yet, we have to pay $2 every month for a fantasy storage. What is that? Why do we need to pay for a subscription to hold our Pokemon? It doesn't cost monthly money in-game for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet to hold our data. It didn't cost any money for a while to use Pokemon Bank. So what's the very specific situation here? In reality, it's very simple. They got wise. They realized that they were just bleeding money. So they went ahead and took advantage of the now adults that want to keep their treasured Pokemon with them since day one of their first adventure and capitalized on it by making them pay what we believe is a measly $2 every month just to get to their partners again. And to an extent, I totally get it. This is supposed to be a business after all. It's not charity. However, and please just think about this with me for a second. Would they really, truly be hurting all that bad if they weren't getting a measly $2 from everybody every month? Would they really hurt would their pockets really be churning? I really don't think so. And I know that I've been saying a quote unquote measly $2 this whole time, but I've been being sarcastic. Add those $2 up every month since Pokemon Home has become available to us. That adds up, dude. A lot. And that's of course if you're not abusing the system, but the fact that we have to abuse the system is insane to me. And then, finally, of course, there's the amount of content available within Pokemon Home that really symbolizes the amount of effort that they're willing to go through for us. Now, I'm not gonna knock it too terribly. It's not like I'm completely ignoring the stuff that it offers to us currently. By an absolute landslide, it offers the best method of organization for our Pokemon that we've probably ever had, even in the main games. On top of that, there's a GTS system. Great, <laughs> that's all well and dandy, that's awesome. Now what? And you know, I'm not expecting some grandiose adventure or anything like that out of it. As the name implies, it's just a home for your Pokemon. Fine, great. 
But you're telling me that with all of this time that we had with Pokemon Home, you guys couldn't add a couple of more features? Like, maybe for example, just as an example, maybe some kind of like, Pokemon of me type feature? I mean, I'm just saying, there's some Pokemon that have been in Pokemon Home the entire time and have not been able to escape because we can't put certain Pokemon in any of the games on the Switch so far. So what, the only way for me to check up on my Pokemon is to just go in and look at this still image of them? I don't know, there's something so heartless about that. It feels so cold and distant to not be able to connect with these Pokemon and maybe play with them or something like that. To just kind of look at them like they're items on a shelf or something like that. You guys give this over the top illusion that Pokemon are supposed to be these real things that have their own unique lives and that they're supposed to be our friends and stuff like that. And this is the best we could do y'all? A still PNG of my Feraligator that I caught in Heart Gold and Soul Silver when I was like 14? Really? Okay. I've constantly said out loud time and time again that Pokemon Company is sitting on buckets of money not utilizing what they have. I've justified time and time again that they could get way more money out of us if they actually justified what we were paying for. I wouldn't even be opposed to paying more for Pokemon Home if it had like a Pokemon Ami feature, maybe some kind of Pokeball decoration situation. Hell, a battle simulator to utilize all of these Pokemon that are just sitting there. I'm sorry, but at this point, they've really had no excuse. They could have hired another team decades ago to develop models and stuff like that for all of these Pokemon that are just sitting in there. And yet, I can't help but believe that you guys intentionally developed this so that we would start paying for it and then just so happen to forget just because we're paying a measly $2 for a dust collecting storage. Okay. Honestly, at this point, I'm sure that they'll just magically drop it on us within the next month or so. But then again, that obviously isn't their focus right now. We have two entire DLCs that are allegedly coming at the end of this year, again, hard to believe, um, that clearly aren't even in the remote realm of showcasing yet, considering the fact that we don't even have gameplay, an ounce of gameplay for it, even though it's been three months since they announced that, and it's supposed to come out later this year. The curse strikes yet again. I really hope this little history stops repeating itself because I'm truly exhausted of it. Truly. I guess at the end of the day, I'm just really frustrated. If something isn't ready for us or it's not ready to be shown off or released, don't tell us about it so damn early. What we don't know will kill us a lot slower than knowing and not understanding. But you know what? Maybe that's just a me thing. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in your guys' hands. Tell me your thoughts on the topic here. Do you think that I'm in the remote realm of correct and that they should probably stop doing stuff like this and maybe not announcing things so early or, you know, just pretty much straight up lying about it? Or do you think I'm in the complete wrong and that they're taking their time, you know, things are going well and that there's really nothing to worry about and that I'm just kind of being an ass about it? <laughs> Be completely honest and tell me everything you guys are thinking in the comment section below because you know for a fact that I am always, always, always gonna be down there with you guys. But with that there, it is absolutely skedaddle o'clock. I'd like to thank you guys ever so much for watching. I truly do hope you enjoyed. Do me the greatest favor of dropping a like and a comment and consider subscribing for more content just like this here. And with that, I'm gone so. Thanks again, hope you enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Do me the greatest favor of taking good ass care and I'll see you all next time. Bye.